Hi everyone. Um, good morning. Welcome to the semi-finals of the PSA Challenger Tour. We've got Sunaina Kuruvilla and Urvashi Joshi starting us off. Um, I think up to I feel like Urvashi needs to um, find a length from the onset, and um, you know Sunena is really, really clinical on the on the loose ball. Urvashi, according to me, right now is probably the most intelligent player in the women's uh, circuit as far as actually figuring out, um, you know, which way the 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 opponent is moving and and uh, where to actually hit the ball to displace their balance etc um the Interesting match if uh, Urvashi can cut out the first uh, errors and uh, you know move Sudhna around. about with uh, uh, Sunaina, you give her something loose and clinical with that. Um, I feel like Very well played by Urushi, good defense. by Sunana again. That's a poor service and a really fundamental mistake when Sunana does make them and there are really few. Um, so she can't play with the game like this. That's Nana's way too experienced to experience too. Uh, that's that's really an unforced error from Sunena and and these are gifts that Urvashi has to capitalize on if she's going to make any mark in this match. Nice squeeze from Sunena, it's tight. Again, the basics are just uh, better than Urushi. That's a nice shot. It was not such a bad service which got attacked. For oh, any junior watching this,
center of the court and that just adds a lot of pressure on the opponent even um, it's done because you're simply not getting enough loose balls Hi Dhruv, how have you been doing? Uh, that's a stroke. What's your prediction, GD sir? Uh, I have <laughs> not done. Uh, have you done a poll again? Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> But I think uh, the Sunaina, the way he, uh, she played, although the competition was not that strong yesterday, but Sunaina played really well. Yeah, again, I think it's been a really good tournament for Sunaina. Um, but yesterday I saw uh, Ashish's match, man. She she was very good. Means she played on. She with order to take strokes and all that thing. Kept on playing, even she clears and plays the ball, and uh, using the four corners out there. Watching uh, these trials and and all for the last four five years, and and I've always wondered, you know, why this girl has been able to break through the top uh, top. Just these silly mistakes she makes here and there, but yeah. other than that, I feel like she actually has. You know something like that. Like that should be defended better. Yeah, I mean she has to. Uh, uh, as I said yesterday, she has to take strokes. She has to put the players in the position. She is said, okay, let me play very clean and fair. But in that way, I think she will make a point. But yesterday's match with Rahul Bata and. Uh, the name now zaveri zaveri was quite uh, it's, it's about a r plus game yeah it's the five setter but again what i saw yesterday means uh, i think bata attack more than zaveri in all ways means it's a basic zaveri just played on back and hitting the ball hard keeping it but i think bata made him move all around and that uh, i think if you really need to come up to the in a place where people should see that how that uh, match goes on i think you have to attack players just playing defense doesn't make you you have to take your chances whenever it's required change uh, change the pace of the ball I mean, just by hitting 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 you just giving if your other player is smart enough you just try and utilize your pace and if you have a better control then you are finished Want to also make like a mark in a, in a international uh, thing? You have to learn all these things. Absolutely right. And this is something all these juniors, even the girls. I mean, they should learn from someone like a Sunaina here. Like you know, just. Sunaina changes her pace when it's required. Yeah. If you know, just I'm... hitting, hitting harder does <coughs> Few of the matches will get so boring that what are you watching for? <laughs> Which I think the youngsters out there, a lot of youngsters playing, they should understand and bring their game to that level. I think the the first game was nice. really crucial. For Which one? This today's match? This match? Yeah, in this match. You know because yeah. I think the last. Five times or something that they played, Sunaina would have won. So you know, just for the self. That means you have to try and uh, take the lead in the rally, giving shot and taking. You see, the players are moving. 
I'm playing to the back and so soon I mean they're playing the ball so soon and the opponent is in the front and you're opening the court for her correct and absolutely no need for it you know it's not like this match has been a very physical match right now that would be she tired or something it's no, just this is just the second game yeah and in the first one also it was not that very strenuous and all that thing but you have to rally the player need to learn rally and wait for the correct now she's attacking she is going in the service return she tried to attack and it's a center court attack neither it's to uh, front or back it's landed in between i think she is uh, from the back end corner she is this is the second time she have played a post She is going in attacking mode. I think the junior player listening. You when you are down, you try and get few points before attacking. Don't just attack for the sake of attacking. Good shot. Ah. So, Dhruv, what's call uh, your call for that stroke? Yeah, I've stopped refereeing. I tried in the last tournament. My decision was so bad. Every decision I gave was off. Ah uh, yeah. It changed so much, you know. What are you saying? It changed so much from the earlier days to what hmm. what's happening nowadays. Completely different. The line, the length. If you go for the European referees, oh my God. But one good uh, positive sign about Urvashi, she uh, is still attacking. She haven't stopped, even though she have lost few points, but she is kept on attacking, which is good in a way. You know, she has to be a little more selective yeah. about it. Is all I want from her. Um, like silly mistake, yeah. You can defend this at her level. From the back of the court, you're giving away strokes. These have to be completely avoided. The so one thing, and the one, the one thing which I'm little uh, disappointed uh, with the youngsters or the senior players. That means uh, when the ball comes to the center court, they have to hold a bit. Means you have all the time. Yeah, the ball is there. You can play. But they can't hold it. They just want to hit it harder or get it back. This is the time where you need to get that point. A centre court ball coming. Wait for that fraction of second before hitting that shot. So I think what the player we train everything. I think the mental training is one of the most important things which the players need to learn that how to stay calm or how to be selective. Right. Again, this is a really crucial time in this game now. Absolutely. Especially now, this is a third stroke. Really key point. And in the same areas, if you see, it's the same area the strokes are getting in the center court, forehand front. She's giving a lot of center court and get, and that is giving a stroke against her. Not leaving. She is in the attacking mode completely, and she is getting it. Double <coughs> shot. That's a beautiful shot. Two for yeah. She is attacking in she the both sides in the same way. Then and this is a crucial point where you need to get a point. Yes. You see that hold where Sunena did under cross court by hitting. That's that's a so good way when you wait for a for a second or less than that fraction of second and you hit. You can actually take 
the player. Nice Very shot. Good. Nice shot. That was really good finish under pressure. Six and seven minutes. I think uh, this shows that means uh, what I'll say means <laughs> you have to be on the court. <laughs> means they are not even there. Means uh, it's, it's my opinion that you should rally or finish. But the six and seven minutes shows that you know what I'm trying to say. Means it's yeah, yeah. That the points they're too short actually. They're not getting it's into any sort of defense. Yeah, means it's. Uh, means either they're attacking too much or I mean there is no stability in the game. If you are, want to make a mark in the international levels, I think you need to have that stability that, okay, when to do what. That means when she was 6-2 down, when she attacked that three points, she got it and then it went off. so well by Urbish. Yeah, I think there's some... Juncture, she needs to... Get it back. Get it uh, rallies and all that thing. Let's uh, put the ball in the four corners. At least not in the four corners. Keep it in the... Push it in the two corners where the chances of attacking is little lesser. But if player can, they can do it. But, but just playing. But uh, what I... What I... So what we saw in this uh, match is... It's a lot of centre courts. A lot of centre courts where Sunena either converted it or took a stroke. So two love up, Sunena. Third oh, game. It's a good lop. It's a very good uh, shot kill from Urvashi. I think she has to, if Urvashi need to uh, lead in this game, she has to try and put the ball to the corners. Uh, doing right now, putting the ball in the corners, at least getting into a little bit of defensive mode. Once you start getting your points, then start attacking. It's a very good shot from Sunena, very close to the wall. Again, a center court converted. Yeah, Sunena doesn't miss that. She doesn't uh, miss that opportunity to play. If you have to center court. I think Gurvashi need it's the same kind of return every uh, game if you see she uh, try to hit the shot kill. There has to be a variation in the return. Super. Again, same area. If you see the same area she's been playing the ball she's Yeah, too many mid calls from the back. backhand side. Uh, ah, that's needed. a really poor error. <coughs> It's a good shot. What a shot. A beautiful hand. Absolutely. And she moved so quick to the ball and then to the That's it. That's a two way which we can uh, do. Either you move fast and play that shot or trickle post or cross court, or you go hold and then play a straight drive. What do you prefer? What do you do? Uh, do you I like, like to go to the ball out? really quickly. I, I don't like to, you know... Um, I do hold a little bit, but... When I get to the ball again, really quickly. So, I want to go to it quickly. And, and Or 
that she should play stick to the game, but she has higher chances that was super nine on you see the quality of the matches because they have so i think that is also in the game what do you think and now then all the players must be like you know the exposure to play tournaments I think they, uh, along with the HCL uh, Federation, SRFI is doing a great job. At least a lot of player, junior players are getting exposed, and at least they will get this international, uh, the PSA rankings, which will be. Yeah, even to... even even these. Uh, I mean, if you look at this tournament itself, um, Anjali Semwal will be playing the semi-finals today. Oh, She's a recruit at the. Match. Um, yesterday she beat Tiana in five. Um, and Tiana had beaten uh, Ashwarya Kuchandani, right? So you know that was a big win for. Game and then I went out for coaching. Then I came back. It was three two. So yeah. So even for these girls, you know, even even um, even Mohit Bhatt, who's also a recruit, I think he's just been recruited by Shimnada University. Again, he you know he won a game of uh, Abhishek Agarwal. So that's that's really good exposure for him at this level. Um. So yeah, these are and and what's happened is that in both the PSAs, even in the earlier one, even in this one, you notice that the semi-finalists, at least in the girls, they've been and the quarter-finalists have been different. You know, uh, Anahat Singh, yeah. 
yeah. had two massive wins she beat um, i think she beat pooja arthi and then uh, rathika after that yeah. so those were really good wins for her pooja arthi is a massive win because uh, pooja placed under 17 in that way no under 19 or she's gone into the women 19 or she's i think anat anat just went to under 15 right now she's just 12 or 13 uh, the world yeah. you know because the egyptian girls at 14 15 are up to the mark take on the whole world i mean shirbini was a world champion at 16 pass the games off really well you know it's it's, it's too love urvashi and then he tends to kind of relax and I don't think your mic is working well. Uh, I can't hear you. Again, this you know is bad. No, I can't hear you still, GD. That's it. Scary story. Literally, you know, she serves that. She has a one point lead. She needs to extend this now if she wants to have any shot at this match. Take a two-three point lead here. That's really four from. front of the court along with it change that about the game in this one That's a gift of. Uh, 
Us into a fifth. You know, Sunena had to cover that. It caused a lot of problems when she actually took her to the front. Uh, that we really important. Um, going with the past in this match, Urvashi has managed to take a lead almost every time. So it'll be important to see if if you know Urvashi can manage to do that in the fifth game. Um, especially in the fifth game, if you do take the lead in the beginning, it's a lot of. So I think Sunena needs to come out and 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 play the first few points a lot better than she's done up to now. Both the players are back. Uh, tight match. Start. Game. I don't think I, think I have, have seen Urvashi. Keep it up. Right. Uh, so now, Urvashi should have done a lot better with that ball. She got a loose return, but she just kind of. Uh, Beautiful shot from Sunaina. Like I mentioned, enough to realize that she's got to um, start the game better in the fifth game. She's not started the game well enough, and she has rectified that here already. Phenomenal defense from Urushi. You know, that was, that was a nice shot from uh, Sunena, and the way she got in there and defended that ball was really something else. She's reading Sunena from the front, and that's going to really hurt um, because, you know, she does hit so many balls to the front, and that's going to bother Sunena a lot. Again, this is a really crucial time for Sunaina here. She needs to win these points, otherwise Urvashi could run away with this match, you know. And with the kind of abilities Urvashi has, uh, it could be a problem for, for Sunaina. But she, you know, brings it back instantly. That's the experience there. She knows how to play the big points well. Absolutely, you know. And. These are the big points, and from 4-2, she's brought it back to 4-all within a minute. And and that now puts the pressure back onto Urvashi. And now we have to see how she responds, and that's really poor. That's really, really poor at this stage. She 
needs to she needs to not make mistakes when she's going forward now this is the fifth game From that kind of a swing, you can't make out whether she's gonna hit the drop or she's actually gonna hit it back, and she does that beautifully. Silly mistakes at, at this point. I think more than Sunena winning this match, Urvashi has handed this match to her with the number of strokes and the number of mistakes she has made. They again at a really crucial time. This is a huge point for both the players. A uh, 9-6 lead for Sunena or a uh, you know, 7-8. Uh, I got a little bit lucky there, Urushi. And taking the ball in short too early, no need for that. And just leaving a loose ball hanging in there. Really poor mistakes. This is the back end of the game that Urushi needs. Yeah. But hats off to Sunena, you know, for keeping her composure and 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 you know getting into this kind of a position because Urvashi is not an easy customer to deal with when Ur Right. It's another stroke to finish. Urvashi played, yeah, and it's all been uh, done to... She plays a super attacking game, uh, but I feel that she has to work on her defense. Correct. Absolutely right. Uh, the number of uh, you know free points at this what level sometimes uh, leads to this. Anyway, congratulations to Sunena. Um, again, I would say a really yeah, consistent, a consistent performance from uh, Sunena. Reaching the back to I think next match will be. Abhishek Pradhan and Abhishek Agarwal. That would be interesting. So we'll be back in a few moments.
Hi everyone, welcome back to the men's semi-finals, first semi-finals. This is going to be a, a really good match. These two guys, they know each other's games really well. They've trained a lot with each other. I feel like Pradhan has more variety than Agarwal but Agarwal has the ability to really get in there and grind it out and and he you know, that's something that Agarwal is really good with absolutely Drew I think and I think it was a big win for Agarwal yesterday you know he uh, dispatched uh, Ramachandran, he loves. Um, I think 11 2 or something like which was, which was really, really good for him. Yeah, okay, Abhishek kept on playing and Sandeep uh, kept on making mistakes and uh, Abhishek played means he uh, a very easy game but he kept his consistency go on in that way. Very hard working player in that way. Wow. You know, so there's something that's really good about Agarwal. He doesn't give away cheap points at all. You're going to have to earn all of them. Absolutely, and when he uh, doesn't feel any confident, he just pushes the ball back. Liking the way you know, his uh, work here, you know, he's uh, another good shot just, and another good shot. One sec, I'll be right back. So, um, so Agarwal, at this point of time, I think he's he's, uh, he's got a good plan going on that you know I'm going to kind of counter punch or defend whenever Pradhan uh, attacks and. Up till now, at least has defended really well and really smartly. And you know, something like that. Now he's not going in there and counter punching that. Pick his battles, he knows he's fit enough for the game. And um, I think if he stays focused like this, Pradhan is going to have a tough time. He's going to have his work cut out. They again. Thank you. 
Yeah. That's a beautiful shot from Pradhan. Um, I think Pradhan... And he kind of tried to break him down slowly, slowly. Tried to take the movement away from uh, Agarwal you know, by moving him. Really good dynamic from Agarwal. That's really, really good. And that is going to hurt Pradhan as well. That's that's really well played. And now, four ball. There's a poor shot from uh, Pradhan and, and aptly punished by Agarwal. Absolutely, the centre court shots, I think the players are taking it very well instead of pushing it back. And I and this is where I feel like Pradhan cannot switch off with someone like Agarwal because Agarwal will not, you know, give him easy points. So he has Absolutely. to be ready for that grind a little bit. If he's going to think it's going to be all, you know, quick and easy points, that's not going to happen with uh, Agarwal at all. And he's going to make a lot of unforced errors. That's really good, but he needs to give that little bit of a margin for himself and then hit the shots, whatever he has in his mind. Yeah, true. But Abhishek needs to keep on pushing. With, uh, with, he has to make him run all corners if you really need to take this match on. Apart from that, it's difficult, as you said. Abhishek will take him out. And Pradhan has Which Abhishek? GD? You need to... No. No, 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 I said Abhishek uh, Agarwal. Six all! <laughs> it's a crucial rally. And, a, and you know, a big, uh, big game. Seven, six. Yeah, big game for, I think, both. And Agarwal would want to win. I think Agarwal will give yeah. away everything. Yeah, yesterday I thought it will be a close game. But uh, uh, Agarwal played really well with Sandeep. Yeah, Sandeep can be very tricky. Yeah, if you know, but Agarwal was really... And I guess in Bombay, uh, I don't know, I think before, I think uh, Agarwal and Sandeep used to train together. Yeah, right. I, I think Pradhan also, I think three of them used to train together before the pandemic uh, started. Off. It's a good rally going on. Pradhan in command. Today is on fire. I mean, I don't think. I think he got uh, switched off for that for that one two points when he made that error. But now the, seeing him the way he's moving, you see the aggression in his face out there. That he's not going to leave anything today. That was super. There was a lot of work being uh, put into Agarwal's legs here. Um, Agarwal needs to do something about this because there are too many loose balls and uh, <laughs> Pradhan is going to really hurt him. No let. I think he had a lot of space to play that shot. I don't know. He could have played that uh, shot. I don't know why he stopped it. Correct. No, again. Uh, and Abhishek will put it in the front. Not, not, not that good. Stroke. That's going to be a stroke. 
Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I think that's a wrong <coughs> shot. Abhishek, uh, the Pradhan could have placed that ball back in Sitov because Agarwal was right behind there. Correct. Absolutely. Keeping the ball away, I think that means, I think, yeah, now center court. It, it is, players are not capitalizing on the center court shot. Wherever there is coming in a little bit of outer court, they are still pushing it back. Maybe it's a crucial time, but Abhishek should go. He went. That's it. See? That's why you need to go when you... Uh, Pradhan is one. It's going to be tough, you know. I think. So, what's your what's your call? What do you think this match will lead to? Um, Pradhan will win. Uh, right, because Pradhan has actually put in a lot of work. And that is going to hurt Agarwal as this match goes on. So, you know, once the fit is it's going to become a big problem for Agarwal unless Agarwal too now needs to find a way to actually move Pradhan around. Currently, currently he's just moving in. Do, uh, yeah, he just he's just right. pushing him back. Right. So he's not jerked around at all, and with play on half at the back, there's no problem. So this is fine, but he. You know, and that part is non-existent right now. Yeah. See, from that 6-5 uh, down, I think Pradhan has been very consistent taking that four points out. Back in the court first, showing that he is absolutely Ready for the second one. So Abhishek start with attacking from the first point itself. Oh, that was a good, tricky, really smart from, shot uh, from uh, Agarwal. From Agarwal. Uh, again, Abhishek finally is missed one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But at this point of time, he can, but at the game progresses, he has to get back. I think very few players attack, uh, I mean, uh, push that drop from the back of the court and Abhishek is one of them. Right. See, again, the second one in this game, uh, in this point, you can you can actually see him breaking down uh, Agarwal's movement here. You know, with those drops and and it will he will slow down. Agarwal will slow down. Everyone slows down. So Agarwal really needs to do something about this right now. See, Agarwal is a straightforward game. I Means he plays a straightforward and all that thing movement. But Abhishek, once he started this point itself, he moved him so much in all the directions. So. That's a very difficult to move. So he has to. If Agarwal needs to get back, he needs to stabilize the game. What Abhishek is trying to go, uh, do. Like that ball, you know, Agarwal needs to do a lot more with that weak post from uh, Pradhan if he's going to Pradhan, do anything yeah. in this match. But he just he's just not getting the. Yeah, yeah, that's not going to help because he, now Pradhan is. Now that's a very good. Uh, 
post from uh, reverse post from Pradhan, unexpected. So he went off because he uh, uh, Agarwal went a step back and then we went front in that way. So you need to keep on trying the new shots and uh, keep your opponent by a surprise. Uh uh, it's a good one. Control there. Pradhan was, you know, in control. Do something here. It needs to become a lot. Whatever Pradhan is doing. Pradhan have to keep on going where he got, <coughs> where he got the first point from. He kept moving uh, Agarwal all around. I think he need to keep on the, uh, moving him. That was a super return. He has to try to take this chance. It's a beautiful drop. Absolutely and uh, phenomenal touch on the back. Yeah, and I think the Abhishek should, uh, uh, Agarwal should try and get uh, Pradhan to try and play his game. But anyways, Pradhan is now in the control. Yeah, yeah you can see all the, you know, all the ways. And he, he's trying out all the, lifting all, it all up. the variation. Yeah, yeah and, and that's trying keeping. out a new variation. Room for Agarwal. And even that's just. The let, he didn't let him go. Oh, Baba. There's a fraction. So I told you, GD, I've given up on referee. So now I just keep <laughs> quiet and wait for the decision. <laughs> this backhand drop today, this guy has not missed. He's missed, I think, one and hit like 30 of them. Pradhan? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the back out. He's been playing very good. Means. He's trying to do something different, which is very nice. He's not uh, playing the, the the game what uh, Abhishe, uh, Prad Agarwal would like to play. They keep the ball straight. Right. And he's keeping all the variation. He's trying out all his skills today. Uh, I think uh, at this point, Agarwal shouldn't lose the temper and don't uh, go and play uh, referee apart from playing his opponent. I think he should focus in the game. Pradhan is making him work. Yeah. This will start to hurt after a little bit, you know. It's, it's only a matter Absolutely. of time before the legs will give up. Nobody can do this kind of movement, you know, all the time. It's, it's not going to happen. You can see a smart <laughs> towel break. <laughs> <laughs> but that movement from the forehand front corner to the again to the backhand again the same way you hold it and that is killer and it takes a lot of effort yeah, you know Drew, to going to the front now I love about uh, Pradhan that he just fearlessly plays those drops from the back yeah. very less players you will find in the circuit who plays that right I, I agree with you you know and even at the higher level you will find it happening uh, at the, at the at the international men's and all. Very less. I think in India, I think this trend. Uh, yeah, I yeah, in India. Very 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 uh, uh, I think Dheeraj uh, was one player who would love to play those uh, uh, drops from the back by shaking his racket and last moment and play it. I think Gili, we need to get Dheeraj sir on uh, commentary one of these days. What do you think? Uh, I, said to I, have, I, I, I have been trying Dheeraj to come, <laughs> but he's been a little shy, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, I think, I think uh, for the next I think we should try him out, get for tomorrow. Yeah, I think Dheeraj sir, if you are hearing this, please join us.
is getting now. It's getting one side. They're just trying to play that a very safe game. Both of them. Huh? Nobody is trying. And Abhi Pradhan is not trying anything. Uh -uh. Seven balls. So you, if you see both their faces, Pradhan looks so calm in that way and uh, Agarwal looks a little tense up <coughs> in that way. So when you're playing this international circuit, you should not be showing those kind of expression in that way. Uh -uh. That's a good shot. Uh, touch by Nagarwal. You tried it again, Abhishek. That one. In this rally, Agarwal made Pradhan stay backward only, and it was uh, he didn't let him move ahead. Your prediction for this game, <laughs> right now? <laughs> right now, I, I love putting you on the like, spot. Ah, right now it looks like Agarwal, but yeah, uh, it does, but. Let's see. And Abhishek needs to get back if he really needs he need to make Agar Agarwal work. Just tightened up a little bit, you know, and that's hurting Pradhan also. Like, now he's not taking him in short so early. He, oh, that was, you, again, Barbaric. brilliant. Means super shot yeah, from the backhand corner. At this point, you know, at 9-8 down to do that, and that, that was a phenomenal shot. Absolutely. You need that kind of heart to play it. Again, Agarwal. No. A lot of work. This really would hurt. But Agarwal is a... He doesn't leave. That's the best part about him. He keeps on trying, trying, trying till the last point. Oh. See that, but Agarwal is look at that pick up. Ah, 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 ah. That's a controversy. What do you think, Roof? Uh, controversial because Agarwal didn't actually shot. And and he got it right, and Pradhan has stopped, thinking that uh, we'll play it. It's uh, Pradhan shouldn't have stopped there. Uh, it, it, has, it goes either stroke or no let. It cannot be a let. No, he uh, no Agarwal didn't ask for the let. He played the ball, and it went right. He just hit his racket, and you know reached the front wall. And Pradhan had oh. stopped. So. So now stop thinking that Agarwal is asking for the let. Well, let. I think I missed that part. See these counters from uh, Agarwal now have really, really done some damage. Absolutely. So it's one all. I still I feel, feel it's like uh, was that? But Pradhan has put in a lot of work into Agarwal's legs, um, and and they are going to, as this match goes on, 
um it is going to kind of take a toll so agarwal needs to stay positive in this game he was a lot more positive when uh, pam dropped he did counter drop sometimes he didn't always just hit back and and the counter drops were tight so he needs to do that he needs to continue to do if he gets into and, a and defensive frame of mind then he's going to uh, Pr- pradhan is going to make him work too hard absolutely and uh, uh, agarwal also played some good drops in the front not on the counters but he played but very few so very tight uh, game was this i think this game is going to be crucial I means it's one all situation and uh, yeah this is a huge game Abhishek started from the first point attacking which is he really attacking yeah, yeah and this is really going to set the tone for this and this is going to hurt a lot you know this is going to be tough as 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 you said he's making uh, agarwal put a very really hard work for his legs yeah. see yeah. i feel uh, those kind of things where you hit a post and the opponent is still waiting back Yeah, he, uh, Pradhan does it well. Attack them back. Don't, yeah, don't right. uh, again put the ball back because they have to run once they uh, have hit in a boost from the back. Right. And Agarwal is already feeling this a lot. It's a tough. There again, you know. I, I mean, it's a really tight defense, but it's not doing anything. And and that's going to encourage Pradhan to actually take him to the front, literally for fun. because yeah he, he he's not getting hurt it. on it you know he, yeah he just like now he needs to attack and that's that's not up to the mark now he's going to be uh, oh, that's uh, lucky uh. that's really lucky and pradhan need to uh, keep mixing up the pace in that way he started off with the attacking mode get back again sudden attack because a player like abhishek if you do not change the game uh, the pace of the game they would love to keep on playing at the same pace uh uh So that's a tough issue. That's, that's really a, tough. It's a very easy, easy strokes uh, given in that way. That's much better. See, Agarwal needs to do a lot more. It's short. nice shot that he <laughs> made him wait i love this kind of players who make opponents wait and then they play it takes really troll in their minds sir eh? right. nice hold and play is one of the greatest and if somebody can do it It's become so interesting to watch. Oh, 
notice here that Agarwal is only reacting to what Pradhan is doing and that's not going to win this match. Yeah. He's only reacting, he is not being proactive himself and taking the ball in short when it's needed, like this kind of a ball. You know, that and in, is, it's not going to way it's not gonna win the match. Absolutely, you retriever and how long can you last retrieving? Amazing. Good from Pradhan. Even his uh, defense is, uh, is not coming that great. Yeah, now there's a little bit now. You know, Agarwal realizes that he can't do this, and he needs to go to the front now. The the skills are going to get tested because yeah, but Pradhan but has it's, uh, beautifully managed to uh, take the legs away from Agarwal. So. Now you'll, you'll, the lead you'll actually get huge. to see um, Agarwal's racket abilities and whether he can actually now take Pradhan to the front because he will have to do that now. Correct. But it's a four points lead. You have to keep that in mind. And now it's five. So if you need to do... Those and I do, I do believe skills. that... Uh, that Pradhan's racket skills are, are, are better. Are, are definitely better. And that's, Absolutely. No, that's why no his game plan... It. So, you know, this kind of a game plan has just worked phenomenally for Pradhan here. He has uh, brought Agarwal's fitness down to his level and now it becomes more about the racket skills where he knows he's ahead. So, I feel like Agarwal missed a trick in the beginning where, you know, when Pradhan was taking him to the front of the court for f literally on every third ball and Agarwal was, was fine, he needed to counter punch that ball and drop See, um, uh, be what I think, I think, I, I think Agarwal uh, thought that he will take uh, Pradhan in the fitness, and he tried to retrieve and make him runs. But Abhishek had off to Abhishek that he kept his cool and he attacked, and he got all his points correct, and especially those lovely drops from the behind the service boxes. At least he got about a dozen, including the two games uh, or three games. Right, and I mean he's. With them, if we have 10 drops, he's hit. I think there must be over 20 drops, and he's hit maybe one in the 10 or two in the 10. So, yeah, that's a really, really high. High. Um, and then, and then he's not been attacked on them. The ones that he's hit slightly loose. No, uh, I think uh, Agarwal didn't attack. He just pushed the ball back. I think he very, yeah. uh, very less counter drops in this last game, and he started playing right. drops. Towards the tail end of the game, where uh, Abhishek was already in control, but when you right. start so attacking there, if it goes wrong, then you should be ready for it. But that's why attacking in the front is absolutely good. That means you know that I can come back. But when you start attacking when you're eight four down or nine four down, you're just giving it away to your opponent. You never know if I don't get it, then it's gone. Right. I think this, so this is something that, you know, um, in the last PSA, um, when Pradhan played Vela, that's a little bit of a tactic Agarwal had tried to use here, not realizing that the way Vela hit his lobs was really, really tight. And they actually put a lot of pressure uh, on Pradhan. Whereas when he has lobbed, they have done nothing to Pradhan. They've mm -hmm. just, you know, given him a it's volley where he's again made him run up and down. Yeah. So tactically there, he's, he's, he's had the right idea, just the execution has not been up to the mark if he wants to lob. You know, like that kind of a lob. Now that does nothing. That's literally like a feeding session. Absolutely. Even I mean, in this uh, rally, you see, it's just... He's literally playing, uh, it's almost like a drill going on. Yeah. And, you know, obviously if uh, Agarwal is doing multiple lunges to the front of the court and Pradhan is just standing now, at the back. Now again, then, again, I mean, open the court. No, no, no. He's taking the. Oh, that's. Even as a stroke. Yeah. He just went for fishing, I guess, and he got it. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I don't know, he's passing the ball, whether it's a stroke. Is he leaving? No, he's not leaving. Oh, I conceded the I point know. because uh, he scooped up one of the balls before. Yeah, okay. It's very good of him, yeah. They're waiting for the referee decision, or yeah, they're waiting for. I that. think the scoring in the iPad. The scoring, and all yeah, that yeah, must yeah. Be iPad. They're waiting. Yeah, changing. It's one two. Yeah, okay, that's that's really poor from Pradhan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a decent. He can win the next two points. It's going to be a, a, a nice lead. Yeah. Strokes. It's a two all. That's a very super service. I think in the last. Uh, I think with the Vela attacked a lot with Abhishek's service last time. If you remember that. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. And this way, Agarwal is doing twice the hard work. Then yeah, but he's still managing to you know keep the lead here, which is really really impressive, and and you never know because I have seen uh, Pradhan completely switch off and let go of games and all that, and then you know in the fifth game, you make a little bit of it's a push just... and it's it, it you can you can take it on. So Agarwal is doing a really good job of hanging on here. He's not making it easy for Pradhan, you know, because you we know that he's hurting at this point of time. His legs are really really burning. But he's still working hard and he's making Pradhan work for every point like this. And this is going to take something out of Pradhan too. It's not like, you know, he's not going to get tired. Absolutely. So, I think uh, that's a really, really good point from both of them. Uh, tough both, point. Uh, bo tough and both of them attacked in uh, each other. You know that one was defending. Especially this point, uh, Agarwal kept on attacking. Yeah, I think they both are going to go to the Tals for sure <laughs> after yeah. that point. <laughs> And he, that was a tough point. That was a really tough point. And Agarwal going to take a whole round of the court, I guess. Let's see who keeps the cool. What a shot! Oh. Well played. But but he kept uh, moving this is a really yeah. really front back. Yeah, front uh, back front back. Correct. And this he is a really important phase. Really important for Agarwal to you know win these next few points. Otherwise, it's going to be tough to make a comeback. If he goes down, you know six four seven four, it's going to be really hard. So he needs these points now. And that's a poor mistake. He should have got that right. a little bit of a tired error as well you know he, there you go yeah. you can see the legs giving way now when he has to lunge you see amount again of... that's tough that's really hard and, and I I mean hats off to Agarwal for you know pushing through that kind of pain because it's it's really tough um, uh, 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 he's going to the player yeah he went to the player there. <laughs> missing the line I don't know what's the decision of the referee will be Oh, they give a stroke. Or oh, is he cramping? I don't know. Yeah, 
So it's a hard. Uh, it was really nice little uh, break. So it's a, yeah, and that's a stroke. Really smart play from Agarwal there. You know, breaking the momentum. Um, really, really intelligent. Um, you know, he rattles off these next two points, three points, and and this could literally be anyone's match from being you know so far out to. Yeah, I agree with this. I mean, it's he has done an amazing job to hang in, and and this is Pradhan switching off, and and this you know. Now I think Pradhan is, is trying too much. Yeah, Pradhan is trying yeah. too much. I think he wants the lob. He's still stuck in the front of the court. Push the ball back. Make him move more. And that's hats off to Agarwal. You know he's done that. See, Agarwal has been a real fighter from the junior days. Means he's been pushing, pushing, pushing. Means from nowhere he have established himself. Super. That's a lovely finish. Super finish. Means just hold, wait, <coughs> and let Agarwal move from his place. What a shot. Agarwal, he, you know, he should not have the stopped there. On. Yeah, he should not have stopped there. He had an easy ball in hand. He thought he had won the point there. Yeah. And I thought it was now a double to work Abhishek. Hard. Right. The ball is very warm and the lobs are That's not be a stroke. that much. That should be a stroke. So, 8-7 are the lobs. lobs. And, yeah. and the lobs are not working this time. The ball is too hot. They're bouncing off the wall. Either you'd have to give it a good height to... Not make it bounce off the wall, but you need a super control for that. And when your momentum is so fast and moving, that's a loose drop from Pradhan. Um, Oh, it's bad luck. It's exactly. really bad luck. It's really bad luck. You know, it was the right shot. Everything was right. Just, yeah, yeah, that was that was done. If you got that right, it would be nine seven right now. Again, a stroke. See, these lobs are not uh, lobs are not working. Uh, the ball is too warm to make those lobs go. And <sighs> it hurts, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, these are tough strokes. These are really yeah, easy yeah. strokes. But I think he's been consistently giving them throughout the match. So yeah, so that's going to be a stroke again. Stroke again. So it's eight all or it's nine eight. I don't know the scores. The backhand drop again. He's done so much damage. Yeah, you see how much effort uh, Agarwal had to. But he's still not leaving, which is fantastic. Uh, no? Absolutely. Oh, that's not right. That's a minimal interference. Oh. Let been given. 
I mean, I've seen these in the you know in the international events being given is on the left given side a, and given a given no a let. let, no let, a no let. Here, here it's a let, but I've seen these given as no lets in a lot of uh, international events which yeah, are played. It is because it's a very minimal interference. It just, but as the referee is consistent in giving all the decision is fair to both. Yeah. I think that's Correct. perfect. I don't. Uh, and there is no problem. mistake that I think. I, I mean, uh, we can't see the score. No, it just went off. I think it's 10 9 or. Look at that get from Agarwal. Ah, that's well, phenomenal so, retrieval. That's uh, now, now let's see what's the decision. He's given a no let, I think. No let, yeah. <laughs> so it's, is it 10 all or? That's a 2 all, it is. Massive game. Uh, fifth one, it's anyone's game, a game now because um, you know Agarwal is going to definitely push for this uh, this game. He's not going to let go, and um, Pradhan needs to knuckle down. You know, first few points going to be crucial, and 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 the the same pattern is not working that much because now Agarwal is used to moving in and out of that front backhand Ab corner. Absolutely, he got adapted to it. So now Abhishek needs yes. to change his uh, strategy a he bit. He needs to change it. Correct, absolutely right. So it's going to be really interesting to see this game. And uh, the way Agarwal has been working, very nice in this uh, game. He's not leaving each and every. Means we just missed out the absolutely. point uh, at the last uh, few points. We couldn't see the score lines, but the effort was brilliant. Really, really impressive from Agarwal. Um, you know, there were there were moments in the in the in the in the game where you felt like okay, now too much work has been put into his legs, and and he, he is looking tired, and he was tired. It's not like he was not tired there, but you know that's the mental aspect of it. He obviously wants it that badly. He put. Um, you know, it's amazing to see that he's actually managed to equalize this, and now position where he could. Pradhan been first on the court every time. Let's see what is his strategies for the last game. I think it's more of a mental toughness, Roof, that if you want to last there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely right. Agarwal definitely more tired. He's definitely pushing more. But, uh, um, you know, Pradhan, I think, has sent the finish line too early and has, um, you know, gone for a few desperate shots here and there. Yeah. So, so let's see how the game goes in that way. No. I think the referee have given a let. Yeah, and Agarwal is not happy with that. Decision. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. Uh, but it's uh, the from the first point itself, they both have started attacking, which is a good thing. It's a good lop from Pradhan. See that now he's onto that ball much quicker and even onto that quicker, which was hurting him earlier. Now he's reading those 
So Pradhan does need to change it. Otherwise, this is going to get really tough and frustrating for Pradhan. Yeah. Now, now it's like as you tell, it's is getting into it. Every every point. Yeah. They have to change up, and that's going to hurt. But that's again, you know, I'm I'm super impressed with this guy Agarwal's uh, ability to hang in there, and literally, you can see he's hurting. But he's, but he's not still showing pushing. He's, he's not. Yeah. yeah, he's moving, he's defending, he's not getting desperate. It's it's really tough mentally what he's doing here. I think it's a deceptive face is showing it, but, but he's still pushing it for each and every. It doesn't look that he is tired in that way. So it's very And you know, that gets really tough for Pradhan because you, you know, when you're tired, you assume that you're going to get a few easy points. And Agar not anything easy here. So that gets really tough because you know you you tend to just slack off a little bit when the person is so tired, but the, but you can't because he's actually playing the same way as he would be playing if he's fresh. Yeah. Ah, uh, that is uh, broke. I think he couldn't clear. Agarwal couldn't clear. Means he got stuck there with the backdrop. Then so it's showing. Means it's showing. Means you need to get back at the fifth three uh, love up. It's quite a lot. Tough, tough balls and three love up in the uh, this game. Agarwal has to win this point. He's just making. Oh, that's going to be a stroke. Again, yeah, because he's not changing. I think Abhishek also getting a little bit of defensive to get those points, not attacking that much to collect some points from the starting itself, which he didn't manage from the last game. That's a great get. If you one thing, if you notice, Dhruv, it's Abhishek only plays most maximum of his drops uh, from the backhand corners. See, when it, whenever he gets in the forehand, he just no. Why did he stop? Was it double? Abhishek have still lead of three points. But Agarwal is... Keep on pushing, that's 5-1. Uh, again and again, but I know how much he's hurting. I mean, we can... You know, the kind of work no. he has done in this game, he is really hurting. And 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 to be fair to take this to a fifth and to still oh, he's trying this he's just trying abhishek uh, agarwal is just trying to get even if he's trying this two three shots which have never played in the last four uh, games touching the ball from the center uh, giving counters on the forehand the side uh, that's a phenomenal shot the junior should learn from uh, this from agarwal because you know, he's been hurting from the second game onwards almost. And he's managed to pull through another 30-35 minutes. And, I mean, I've seen this happen a lot in our juniors where, you know, they play one tough point and then they let go of the rest of the match. You know, and in squash, it's Absolutely. a sport Three, like that where points. you are going to get... You are going to feel it, you know. Everybody feels it. But you do tend to recover and your body is capable of pushing it. It becomes... ...in that pain zone sort of a thing. And... Agarwal here is showing everyone just that. It's not been easy. And, you know, he has dragged this match out. I know... ...with the kind of work that he was made to do. 
Um, but even now, you can see the effort is there. He's making him play another ball and another ball. And that is, you know, you never know what happens in squash. It's a really funny game that way. Absolutely. And Pradhan need to make him move more now if he needs to get it. And that's what he's doing. He wants that one big rally. But knowing Agarwal, I don't think he'll just leave it like that. Look at he's that. Going he's for still it. going on. He's go still I mean, going on. And Pradhan, phenomenal. And Pradhan it's going to get really frustrating for Pradhan eventually. Uh, 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 that's the, yeah, that's a no let. Yeah. That's a no let. Yeah. And he's kept on pushing. And Pradhan was in no mood to finish, if you see this. He's just trying to get more. Uh, Agarwal worked more. A four point lead. Four point lead. Oh, that could be a no let. I mean, there was very little interference yeah. there. Yeah. Let's see what the decision. I think no let. Yeah, I think he has given the no let. Yeah, yeah. No let, yeah. Mm -hmm. Abhishek losing in doubt. If it, it gives up, Agarwal is not. Points now. It, 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 it's literally just two points away, and and Agarwal is going to make a big push here, for sure. I mean, he's worked so hard in this uh, match. He's not going to leave it. Yeah, no. What a so shot at this point. I mean, a wide point. Oof. No, no. Now it's I think going from uh, Agarwal's hands. Look at that. I mean, phenomenal, uh, pheno just phenomenal recovery work from uh, Agarwal for so long after being so tired. I mean, I am super, super impressed. Absolutely. All the CrossFit he's been doing, I think it's helping. Uh, whatever he's been doing, I think uh, even the <laughs> mental stuff, you know, whatever this Absolutely. is, it's it's really impressive physically and mentally. More than the physical part, you know, his you can see every movement he's struggling to get back, but he's doing it, you know, and no, Pradhan, great match. Uh, match we should be match super ball. proud of this. Yeah. Absolutely. But the amount uh, he pushes means sometimes he posts, I kept on seeing his posts. Uh, Agarwal's. Agarwal. Do super stuff in it for his fitness, yeah. He puts what he's uh, doing it. Uh, that's he. Oh, well played, but, guys. Uh, uh, well, Agarwal really pushed it. Congratulations. You know, I... To Pradhan for reaching the second finals. But I think it was a super match, Zoof. 58 minutes. Super match. Absolutely. You know, after uh, Agarwal lost the third game, I honestly thought uh, the fourth is going. And, and for fourth, uh, Pradhan was up. It's not like he was down. But the way uh, Agarwal pulled it out, Phenomenally that done. Um, Absolutely. Really, really shows the kind of uh, mental makeup this boy has, and, and and that's really good to see. Absolutely. Okay, GD sir, I will take your leave. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll see you in the next match. <laughs> take care. Okay. Bye. Bye.
So third semi-final between Anjali Samwal and uh, Tanvi Khanna. Anjali played a wonderful match yesterday, meeting Tiana. Three two. Let's see uh, how Anjali performs under a bit experienced player Tanvi Khanna. And we just uh, making her move all around the corners. One all. That's a very nice cross court from Tanvi. It's good to, to see Anjali in a super confident and trying. I think yesterday's match would uh, given her a good amount of confident and playing. But we have to see how she sticks around with uh, the experienced player like Tanvi. Tanvi need to be focused from the first point itself. It's a three all. Sound first arrow. Going. A five three. I think when you, you're in the lead, you have to keep the patience on and keep on playing to get that lead on instead of trying out the shots. I think Anjali is it will be first uh, PSA semi-final and, and she has to keep her nerve on. That's, that's super. Good attacking from there. That ball given. She could finishing, pushing the ball, and we is pushing her behind and a weak return and punished by Tanvi.
I think when they giving next time play the ball, I think the referee should be very strict in the from the first point itself. They should tell them it's a no let, so the player itself understands that it's a no let, and they have to go for each and every ball. It's a good effort from Anjali. But after the tough match yesterday, we just need to see how much she recovers from that match and play point to point in that way. She's going unnecessary shots. She has to keep the ball and play.
Come on.
Weise ein Rückstand. Ein Rückstand. Er geht durch. Correction. Two, five. Er geht durch. Come on, Anthony, come on.